up? It's Asia Sky from DX Daily Podcast. And check this one out. So sometimes it can be rare to hear rappers really open up about their lives outside of their music. Well, recently, rap veteran Lil Wayne got extremely candid in an interview with Emmanuel Acho for his show, Uncomfortable Conversations with Emmanuel Acho. And on the show, Wayne opened up about the day that he almost ended his own life. Now, if you're a Wayne fan, you've heard the story that back in 1994, Wayne shot himself in the chest with a 9mm handgun when he was just 12 years old. And back at that time when the cops arrived, they were able to rush Wayne to the hospital. And if not for one of the officers insisting that they rushed Wayne to the hospital, he would have eventually bled to death right there in his home. Well, that story has been out there for decades, but for most of this time, Wayne had been claiming that the incident was an accident. But in recent years, on songs like Solange's Mad and Let It All Work Out, Wayne actually alludes to the fact that this was a suicide attempt and not an accident like he had previously said. Oh no, this is... This is a mental health issue. Once my thoughts turned to, once my thoughts got radical and got, you know, to where you got to stop yourself and stop and pause and say, what did you just think again? Or even if, the, even if you cried yourself to sleep with that thought on your mind and wake up the next day and be like, I cannot believe I was thinking like that. Thoughts like what? Thoughts like killing yourself. You, thought, actually, about, you thought about killing yourself? Well, actually, when I was, <clears throat> when I was 12 years old, School year was kind of ending. So what the school was doing was they was giving us half days on a Thursday and a Friday. Yeah, it may have been on Wednesday as well, but what I would do was just tell my mom that I only had a half a day on one of those days. So therefore I stayed out the rest of the whole day, just like it was a full day. She found out. And so when I got home on that thing, it was that Friday, whatever, I got home, got a phone call from my aunt. It was like, she found out, boy, you about to get your ass. Taking all that rapping and all that, she about to take that rap photo, she about to throw that shit away, she about to... Mm -hmm. And I was like, wow, so all that had built up to me. So that was a build up. I, I just listened to her, listened to my aunt, like, I hear you, I hear you. Cause she was, you know, she was like, boy, you about to get your ass. She get home, your mama take it. So she actually said, she was like, she's taking off. Hung up the phone, thoughts everywhere, you know, thoughts everywhere. Main thought was, I'm gonna show you. Main thought was, I'm gonna show you. What were you gonna show her? So. I picked up the phone, I called the police. Yes, I knew where she kept her gun. And it was in her bedroom. And so I went in her bedroom, grabbed the gun. I already made the phone call. Looked in the mirror, did like that. Of course, it was like, oh no. You know, cause I got a little too scared. That was my head, like, no, no, no. But then I said, F it. Biggie was on. You could, I'm looking in the mirror, so you could look through the mirror and the television was behind me. So I, could, I was watching the video through the mirror. Uh, one more chance it was on. And I think Biggie was already gone or something. So I was just looking and it's like, you know what? Start thinking again, I had to get myself mad and notice that I didn't have to. That's what scared me. How I know I had mental health problems was I pulled the trigger. And so when they knocked the door, that's when I found out, my first time found out what off the hinges of hinges is, because they knocked it off the hinges. And so boom, and they picked it up. They saw me, they as in the cops, they saw me just jump clean over me and went through the house talking about, I saw I found the drugs, I found the gun, I found the... And so that's how I'm doing all that. And so it took a guy named Uncle Bob. And he, he ran up there. When he got to the top of the steps and saw me there, he refused to even step over me. Mm -hmm. One of them yelled, like, I got the drugs. And that's when he went crazy. He was like, I don't give a f about no drugs. He's like, do, do you not see the baby on the ground? And I, <laughs> funny that I kept trying, I was spitting all in his face, blood, everything. All I kept was trying, all I was trying to tell him was, I'm not a baby. Because <laughs> he kept, do you not see the baby on the ground with this hole in his chest. He was screaming at him and it was like, I guess I didn't know he was, so they must, he must have been the sheriff of a boss because they all came out the other rooms like, oh, sorry boss, um, we called the ambulance. He's like, I don't give a f do you, like, so he called like one of them names, last name. Your car now. Pick me up, bought me, and just kept telling me some sh like, you're not gonna die on me, you're not gonna die on me the whole time. The whole time, I am trying to tell him I'm not a baby. That's why I told him for 30 minutes straight. And so he got me to the hospital. He bought me that. He never, you know, he never even checked it. He just left me, made sure I was good. I met him years later. But he was like, uh, he was like, I don't wanna just like, I just wanted to say, I'm happy to see that I saved a life that mattered. 
Now, as you can hear, Wayne did give a bunch of new details and shed light on what was actually happening for him at that time. And after having the conversation, he took to Instagram to post a clip of the interview. And in the caption, he said, I hope telling this story helps someone out there. So what did you think of Wayne coming out and sharing this story with the world? Do you think this will help his fans and hip-hop fans in general take their mental health more seriously? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell. Subscribe to the DX Daily Podcast. And as always, keep it locked in to Hip Hop DX.